Hey, welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill, and today we're going to explore the interior of our Black Diamond. Now, what this video is going to be about is the comparison of all three of our interiors. We're going to start off with the Black Diamond because it has a marine grade vinyl interior with washout floors. Now, the floor, all four foot wells, they all do come with drain plugs, as you can see. We just have them covered with rubber mats. We have a rubber floor, yet yeah, we're covering it with more rubber. Don't ask. But yeah, this one has a drain, that one has a drain, the other one has a drain. Now, this is your marine grade vinyl. Um, now, Ford said that you can just pretty much hose it off and not have to worry about it. But I do want to point out one thing. Even though that you can hose it off and stuff like that every little stitch that's on this material has a hole keep that in mind because you're sitting on cushion which is foam and if you take a hose and you just hose it out that water is going to find those little holes and go into the foam and if it's not completely dry it will mold and it will stink so I'm just pointing that out so my advice to you is when you use this and you go camping and it's dirty, just brush it out, take a vacuum cleaner with a brush, um, the brush attachment to it, so that way you don't scratch your, uh, your material. And then just take a damp cloth or the protectant or the cleaners that they make for these and just wipe it down. I mean, it does not take that long to clean these because it's so slippery as far as just rubbing your hand on it. But when you're sitting in it, it's good and grippy. So I don't go like this and slide around in the seat, which is helpful for me. Now, um, I will list in the description below about what products to use with this. The only main difference between this interior, well, the center console area, uh, both Ben and Badlands is between the automatic and the manual, as you know our big bend is a manual, is the goat mode here is up in this little corner right here. So this little thing gets kind of like an L shape or even a B shape or whatever. It gets all a little bit blocky. But as far as the con you know the controls up here, it's the same as what it is in Ben. In the Badlands, the interior is the same as far as this section here. This right here is completely different, and this is different as well. The interior is great. Um, I like it because it's easy to maintain. It's a quick wipe down. It's nice. It's very comfortable. And it doesn't hold odors. And I hate cloths. <laughs> I'm going to be 100% biased on this, okay? I don't like cloths. But if you don't have dogs, you don't have kids, and it's only you, cloths is fine. I have fur babies, and we go and do stuff, and our interior gets dirty. So I don't like cloths. But this should be fairly comparable to a leather interior. Now, the only difference between this and leather, leather is skin. It is cow skin. And skin has pores. So that makes it breathable. Kind of like the weave on your shirt. All the little air holes, it makes it breathable. This does not have that. The only hole this got is where the stitching is at. So, that's the only thing. It, I don't know how well it's going to hold up next to leather. I never had this material before, so this should be interesting. Um, I'll have to do some follow-up videos and let you know how each one holds up. Now, my biggest gripe about this interior, if I can get the door open. Okay, you see, you have a nice rubber floor, it has filthy in here already. But why did they not make that rubber in the back? 
The entire thing is a rubberized interior minus the back of the back seats. Totally stupid. Told you it can be brutal. But that's my only major gripe. Um, the next thing, <laughs> and that was, it's not the material's fault. It's just where we live and the fact that the windows are not tinted. The video was the car inserts, like all the, the cup holders and the tray inserts and stuff like that. It's the one I just did. I had the top back for like maybe 10 minutes. It only took like 10, 15 minutes to shoot that entire video. But let me tell you, because this is all black and I don't know how it is with other colors, but this one is all black. It's black on black. The, uh, the seats got really super hot. In fact, they got so hot within a 10 to 15 minute time frame when that roof top was back. I burnt my hand trying to climb in to get the roof closed and I was by myself. So, and Sean was at work when I did it. I didn't have anybody. So, <laughs> and I wasn't gonna wait because it's Florida and we're starting to enter into the rainy season and it will rain just whenever. But that's, I gotta get this thing tinted. But yeah, that's another thing I'll have to see because my leather interior never got that hot. And I have a black on black truck with leather interior and this never got that hot. But that's the first time I've ever burnt my hand on a car interior, ever. So make sure that you read the description box and go down to the bottom part of it because I will have a list of products to use on the marine grade vinyl as well as leather and cloth. That way you can take care of your interior properly. Now, I do want to say, make sure that you use discount code on your buckyourbronco.com. The discount code is 151. So it's going to be the number one, the word five and one to get your 10% off of all your Boyd bring your own device rail accessories. The prices are great and it's really good quality stuff. So I would advise you to check out their site and use our code and save yourself some money. So the next one we're gonna review is gonna be the leather interior and that's gonna be on my Badlands. Okay, so we are back with the Badlands. And this one is fully loaded. It does have the leather package. As you can see. All nice black leather all over the place. Now, it's going to be a toss-up on my opinion whether I'm going to have a favorite between the marine grade vinyl and the leather because I like them both for different reasons. I like the fact on the marine grade vinyl I can take a hose and just, you know, wipe it down really quick. Not that you can't, you know, wipe down leather really quick. You just can't take a hose to it. <laughs> but I really like the leather because I've been around horses a lot and my favorite interior is the King Ranch. The second you open that door to one of those King Ranch pickups, it smells like a new saddle shop. And I'm just like, ugh, that's so awesome. <laughs> so I'm a little bit biased when it comes to the leather for that particular reason. But I like the fact of the marine grade vinyl being able to just take a hose and wash it down. Now the leather comes with its own um, thing as well. Because leather is initially skin of an animal, it does require different things to keep it supple and moist where it doesn't crack and dry out. So I will find a site and put that down below what products to use on leather. That way you guys can have that. With leather, as I said, you know, you see like all the grain and stuff in here. Um, there are pores, you know, just like our skin, there's pores all over it. You just don't see them. And that's probably a good thing. So it's, it's a breathable material. 
the leather will breathe. It doesn't get super hot like the vinyl does. Even though this is ceramic tinted, as you can see with the window, it is tinted. But leather in general, it is breathable. And I think that's probably why it's one of my favorite materials to use is because it is a breathable material. We'll go in a little bit with the cloth later, but between the marine grade and the vinyl, or the marine grade vinyl and the leather, so far the leather's winning out because I like the fact that it's breathable. Um, it's an organic material, it's not something that's made out of chemicals and stuff like vinyl is. It's made out of like plastic and stuff. Um, and I just, like I said, I'm a little bit biased because, you know, I've been around horses and I just love to smell a saddle. So <laughs> the only drawbacks on it, if you don't maintain it properly and, you know, and on a regular basis, it will start to dry out. It will crack and it will split. And it's expensive as hell to fix this. So that's one drawback. But really other than that, it doesn't hold a lot of dirt. You can easily wipe it off. It's like all the dust that's on here, you can easily wipe it off. And yeah, it's just, I don't have a rag on me, but you can easily wipe it all off and everything, just like you do a marine grade thing. You just can't take a hose to it and just hose it down because there are pores in this. The water will get inside the pores. It'll get into the foam and then you're gonna have mold and mildew issues. So you don't wanna do that. You just take a damp cloth or even a dry rag and wipe it down. So there's that one drawback as versus the marine grade. Uh, the care on this is a little bit more in particular of how it needs to be done than the marine grade vinyl. But other than that, um, oh, and it's not as hot. I mean, yeah, it does get hot, but it's not as hot. And I'm only saying this because this one is tinted. So I have to wait until the other one gets tinted to give you an accurate comparison. But this one isn't as hot when it's like 90 bazillion freaking degrees outside as the other one was where it burnt my hand. But when we get that one tinted, I will give you an update on how hot that one gets <laughs> because it's really an unfair comparison at this time because it's not tinted versus this one being tinted. So I will, I will give you that. But yeah, um, like I said, I like the leather. It's nice and supple. Um, you can get some really beautiful colors with it. I like the fact that it's organic, it's biodegradable. And uh, it, I, I just like the look of it and I, I just love the smell of it. I just love to smell leather. So that's, that's my perk on it. That's my thoughts on it. So by far, this is probably my favorite interior for the, the seating. The marine grade vinyl is my favorite interior for the floor. Yeah. So my favorite interior so far is the leather. My favorite flooring for the vehicle is a marine grade vinyl, the rubberized floor. I would love to see somebody do a leather interior with a rubberized floor. That would be kick ass. I think that would be awesome to see that. A leather seated interior with a washout floor. I don't think it'll ever happen, but who knows? Hello, and we are back with the Badlands. And with this one, she came equipped with leather interior. As you can see. Now, leather I'm a little bit biased on. It is one of my favorite materials as far as the car interior. And let me explain to you why. Leather on a King Ranch pickup. If you guys have ever looked at a King Ranch pickup, 
you'll know what I'm talking about. Those of you who have not, you need to do so. Those of you who are around horses will understand what I'm talking about. I've been around horses and I rode mostly western and stuff like that when I was, you know, in the horse uh, riding phase of my life. And saddles are made of leather. They're covered in leather. And the smell of brand new leather is, wow. It is so good. It is, mm. This is what that reminds me of, and that's exactly what a King Ranch interior smells like. So I'm a little bit biased when it comes to car interior. I like leather. I like the way it feels. I like the fact that it's softer than what the marine grade vinyl is. It's got many, many pores, because you gotta remember, leather is a product of cattle. So this is the skin of a cow on our car seats. That's what leather is made out of. So as with our skin, you're gonna have all these pores that are on the leather. Cows are no different. That makes the leather breathable, which is important when you have an organic substance like that, just like, you know, cotton cloth is a breathable material. It keeps you cool. Whereas something like the vinyl that is not organic it doesn't have any kind of pores or anything of that nature. It's going to hold the heat. It's going to hold moisture. It's going to hold all kinds of things. Because there's no way for it to breathe out, to exhale. You know what I mean? That's another reason why I like the leather. Because it is a breathable interior product. But it's also got the same perks as marine grade vinyl. You can... Wipe it off very easily with a damp rag or dry cloth, whichever you prefer. It does take a little bit more uh, care to maintain the leather. There are certain products that you have to use to uh, keep it soft and supple. And again, just like the marine grade vinyl, that has oils in it because of the materials that it's made out of or the composites that it's made out of. This will also need like an oil as well. But I will link a thing in the description box of what to use on leather. There's certain things that you want to use on it. Saddle soap is good, saddle cleaner, and um, anything to do with saddles you can use on leather is fine. Uh, anything formulated for car leather is good as well. I usually use the stuff for horses just because that's what I'm, I'm used to. But that's the reason why I like leather. And it comes in some really beautiful colors. This is just black right here, if you can see it. It's just black, but they have some really gorgeous colors that leather can come in. And I don't know. I just, I'm sorry, but I'm biased on my car interiors. I prefer the leather. I can't really say anything bad about it. And now as far as the heat on this thing, I can't give you an accurate comparison between the marine grade and the leather because it's going to be an unfair comparison. This already has ceramic tint. My other one does not. So when I said I put my hand on the seat and I blistered my hand pretty much because it hurts like hell. It was so hot. It's because it was sitting on a black car, not tinted, in 90 bazillion degree heat. Of course, anybody's hand's gonna get burned. But this one is not only a lighter color, it's tinted, and it's further more out of the shade, or out of the sun than what the other one was. So it's not a very fair comparison. So until I can get the windows tinted on the Black Diamond, I really can't tell you if putting my hand on the seat when it's 90 bazillion degrees in the sun will burn it as bad as what this one does. I don't know, I'll have to see. I'll have to do a comparison video on burns, okay? <laughs> but there's that. Now, um, I do wish this thing came with washout floors, but you get carpet with leather and that's fine. But we had to rubberize mats, as you can see. But I don't like carpet for that reason either. There's not a stitch of carpet in my house because 
it's it's like a sponge and I hate sponges that just hold everything and that can be a comparison part of the cloth interior why I don't like cloth I really don't have anything bad to say about the leather it's very good quality it will last you a long time if you take care of it um, just like the marine grade vinyl if you take care of anything it's gonna last um, but it is by far one of my favorite interiors I absolutely love it I can't say anything more other than that so leather for the win the marine grade vinyl is a close second and we already know what's coming in last. <laughs> and we'll do that one next. Here with the Bronco Big Ben, also known as Ben. And for those of you that have been following us, you know this one already has a cloth interior. For those of you that are new, Ben has a cloth interior. <laughs> the, how do I want to say? This is probably, and I saved the, the worst one for last because this is honestly my least favorite interior. I don't like cloth. And I'm gonna show you why. But I do have one good point about cloth, so I'm gonna point out. So here's our cloth interior. Now we do have the back seats folded down because this is Diesel's car and Diesel's over there. They're all scoping out an alligator. I don't know if you can see him. I'll put an arrow where he is. But the biggest drawback to cloth is my number one gripe about it. It holds odors like you cannot imagine. If you ever had a dog or dogs or even rented a car and it stinks, even though it's been cleaned, and you just notice it just has a smell, that's because it's cloth. And that's the one reason why I hate cloth so much. Um, yes, I do have blankets and stuff like that in here, and that's not because, you know, just not the source of the smell. My truck already smelled like a dog before I even put those in here, and these were washed before I put them in here. So don't yell at me in the comments. But it also sticks with the fur. It's stained because he's drooling and stuff like that. And that's just, you know, that's just the nature of cloth. It stains, it traps hair, it traps odors. It's hard to keep the odors out of it. As far as waterproofing it, you can with Scotchgard. And that makes the fibers, um, it'll coat the fibers to where it's not as porous and it'll just beat off but you have to keep reapplying it. It's not naturally waterproof. It will absorb just like a towel. And if you ever have an incident where, oh crap, I left my windows down and it rained and now it's hot so, and it smells musty, you're gonna have that smell for quite some time unless you take the seats and completely dry them out or just change them all together. And that's hard to do with these. They're, it's not just, you know, an easy thing to take apart and dry out right away. So just keep that in mind when you're picking interiors. So that's the reason why I don't like the cloth. The only reason why I like the cloth is because it can be 50 million degrees outside in sunny Florida, tinted windows or not, and if I wanted to wear shorts and get into my car and drive off into the sun, I'm not going to blister my butt while driving. That is the only good thing I have to say about cloth. It could be 50 billion degrees and I can do this and not burn my hand like I did on the marine grade vinyl. Win. Total win on that one. So I saved the least favorite for last for obvious reasons, because it is my least favorite interior. And when I get all three of these Broncos up here, we will do the final verdict of why I picked my favorite interior.
And I'm hoping that this video will help you choose when you go and build your own vehicle and it comes down to the interior choices, what may be best for you. And always double check my description box down below because I will put products on each one of the interiors. I will break them up for the marine grade, the leather, and the cloth of what products can be used on it. So make sure you do that. And that's pretty much it. We'll see you when we get all three of them back here and I'll give you my final verdict, okay? Bye. All right, we are back with all three. The cloth, the vinyl, and the leather. And I'm gonna take you to the one that I think is probably the best interior. I'm biased, I'm sorry. I like leather. I think it's a better product than the vinyl or the cloth, especially the cloth, because it's an organic material. It's a breathable material. It lasts long if you take care of it and it's environmentally friendly versus something that's made out of petroleum products or plastics, which is this one. And I sure as hell like it better than cloth because it doesn't stain, it doesn't hold odors, and I just like it better than cloth. So that's just all there is to it. But we do have a surprise for that one. That one's not going to stay cloth. And that's all I'm going to say about it. So let me know in the comments down below which of the three interiors you would, you know, you prefer the cloth, the vinyl, or the leather. And uh, tell me why you prefer them. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.